Back to work tomorrow. Ah. Hey! What is it? Oh, I just went and had a look at the backyard, and it's a mess. That guy I hired to, to mow the lawn and to dig up the dead trees at the back of the yard, he never showed up. He's probably visiting in the north for the Songkran holiday. Oh, I specifically asked him if he was available over Songkran. He told me he would do it. He probably didn't want to upset you. How could he possibly think doing his job would upset me? I mean, he thinks that if he will tell you that he cannot do the job, will upset you. So instead, he told you he would. He would. Even though he had no intention of doing the work. He's showing consideration for your feelings. How is lying to me being considerate? He didn't want to upset you by telling you that he will not be in town for some crime. And you shouldn't have asked him to do work over some kind anyway. Oh, what you call consideration, I call deception. I asked him if he was available over Songkran because I wanted to know if he could get the job done. I wasn't forcing him to do it. I think that if you want to live in Thailand, you should learn about Kreng Jai. Huh? Kreng Jai. It is, it is respect and consideration for other people their feelings, their comfort, their personal space, ahead of your own. Oh, but who is supposed to show Krang Jai to whom? And how is lying to me respecting my feelings? You shouldn't take it as lying to you. The man didn't want to ruin your Songkran plan by making you worried about the backyard. Oh, I will never understand this country. And how about now, when I'm upset because my backyard looks horrible? You just need to forget about it and let it go. That's where the concept of my pen comes in. Oh.